Okay. I'm gonna try to do this uh, Christmas wrapping thing for my son. Hopefully I can hear me. But pop, this is how you wrap. You roll your wrapping paper out. The key with wrapping good is to not waste paper. So you almost want to make sure your measurements are on point so you don't have a whole lot of excess paper at the either end. And to make sure when you lap it over that too much don't cross over the other side. They kind of almost meet. So now you're not wasting paper overlapping. So I always wrap my gift face down like that. So it's always going to be face down. And you bring your paper up enough, just enough on one side, okay? Bring it up just enough on one side. So, I'm gonna take the, I swear. Where's my tape, man? Yeah, hang on that tape. When you put it on here like this, did you get your pinwheels out the car? Like that. So this is all you got on this side. And then on the end, oh shoot, on the end, you see, I can't hold this there on the camera right. I'm looking at everything. On the end, it's just you don't have a whole lot of excess paper on the end. So, like that. Okay. So then, once you do that, you overlap. Overlap this way. Just enough to line it up. Don't cross it over it. Just enough to line it up so they almost meet, but slightly over the other side. So, once I measure, I cut my paper, and then I go back and match it. Sharp scissors help a lot because all you do is go right across. Okay. So, now, I got this. Just enough to where it meets. So it meets. It don't really. It's right there edit. You can cross it over just a little bit. But it's pretty much right there edit. Okay. And after that you tape it. Sort of stay in place. Tape right. I usually use two pieces, one on each end. Sometimes I do it in the middle of them if it's a big box. Okay, so once you got this tape, I work on my ends. So now that's your end right there. I'm gonna get ready to lose. Oh. Okay, so then I fold it down. Fold this down. So when you fold it, I like to, if you crease when you fold, that's how you get your paper to stay in place. So I crease and fold. It should take, I only use one piece. Then same thing. Crease and fold. Okay, so tape it. And then you bring the bottom up. And it meets. Yeah, that's it. on this side because we got a lot of extra paper sometimes I just cut mine off 
and use it for something else. Too much paper will make it hard to do what I just did on the other side. So I cut off excess paper. Try not to cut off. Try to line it up just right so you don't have to do this and you don't want to waste paper. But sometimes it is what it is. So same thing. I'm going to crease and fold. Tape. Crease and fold. Oh, I ain't cut it too short. Alright. And then this and fold it up. Then sometimes when your paper end up being short, like I cut mine a little too short, I just go back and add a little of that paper that I cut off. Sometimes when it's on the end, I just stand up on the side. It don't matter unless it's showing a name or something. But just because doing this little video, just put another little piece on there if you want to. If it's just showing box like this showing, normally I wouldn't even worry about it. Who cares? It all looks the same. Okay. So, I need to watch my show. So, that's that. So, now you see. Alright. You see. That's the gift. Wrap all around. That is it. I wonder if this could be your gift. Hmm.